Will life exist outside of Earth? This is an emblematic question for our society. When looking at the sky, we all ponder this possibility, although it is often difficult to accept that there are other species outside our atmosphere. This might sound like a very sad story. After all, we are the only living beings in all known galaxies. Sounds a bit tragic, don't you think? But maybe this story won't have a sad ending. After arduous research, scientists have managed to stumble upon six moons that could have extraterrestrial life. Six opportunities to stumble upon something that awaits us out there in space. And if you want to know what it is, you better come with me to discover what is hidden out there. Number 6. Enceladus Our first stop doesn't take us that far from Earth. In fact, it's closer than many might think. It's Saturn's moon called Enceladus, which has a surface covered by nearly 24 miles of clean, thick ice that has gone unnoticed by many until this point. Recently, the moon Enceladus has shown chemical reactions on its seafloor, which could be a clear sign that beneath the ice lies a huge ocean. Since the first reading, scientists from the Southwest Research Institute have done a permanent readout of this moon, and their research seems to be getting closer and closer to a strong answer. So far, this potential ocean has remained petrified, frozen for thousands of years. But, as it happened during the origins of the Earth, a slight change in the ecosystem is enough for life to emerge before us. There is still insufficient evidence to determine the presence of microbial life in the Enceladus Ocean, but progress is indeed promising. Number 5. Titan Also located on Saturn, the largest of its moons offers a promising prospect. Some might wonder why this planet seems to hold so many possibilities for the birth of life, and this is due to its atmosphere, which integrates a rich variety of organic compounds, nitrogen and methane. Each of these elements has the necessary properties to create the necessary conditions for life to emerge here. On Earth, for example, rice paddies, tubercles and ruminant animals have been nourished by methane since the dawn of time and this could be replicated on Titan. Still, this is not a pleasant place for life. Not only is it extremely cold, which rules out the existence of liquid water, but its surface reaches temperatures below 180 degrees, preventing any organisms from being born on its surface. However, scientists believe that despite its difficult climate, Titan offers great possibilities to surprise mankind. Number 4. Europa It's possible that you might be confused. Isn't Europe the old continent we all know? Of course it is, however, it is also the name given to one of Jupiter's many moons, all of which possess a thick icy crust that, like Enceladus, could be hiding a vast ocean teeming with life. However, unlike Enceladus, Europa has inner rocky cores that favor the right environment to harbor life in the form of microbes or small particles that, over time, could transform into some kind of alien life. After several investigations and analyses, NASA is keeping a watchful eye on this moon, because any tiny change could give us a favorable sign for the existence of life. Number 3. Triton. Another planet in our solar system that has generated great scientific interest is Neptune and the largest of its moons, Triton. Triton has one of the most active geological ecosystems known. This causes nitrogen gases to constantly linger on the surface while its entire surface is made of ice, but it is also transformed into liquid water due to the gravitational friction between Triton and Neptune which could help to warm the waters, something that would be decisive for life to thrive here. So far, the only mission that has been sent to this place was Voyager 2 in 1989, which helped to gather the information that NASA handles so far, but it is still insufficient to make a proper assessment. That is why the Trident mission will soon be sent into space. Only then will we be able to discover new findings about Triton. Number 2. Callisto 
Another moon from Jupiter that seems to have great potential is Callisto, which has a subsurface ocean that is 155 miles below the Earth, something very unusual for planetary moons. Additionally, it has a powerful atmosphere with hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and oxygen, which are all part of our planet, and that makes it differ greatly from the rest of the moons by presenting the ideal conditions for the origin of life. Despite all these positive factors, Callisto has a temperature that goes well below zero, which makes it harder for life to emerge. Even so, researchers do not lose hope. Space can be unpredictable after all. Number 1. Ganymede Since we are talking about moons with great possibilities of harboring life, we cannot leave out the only one that possesses a subterranean saltwater ocean. It is so vast that it could contain more water than all the Earth's oceans together. Having such a huge amount of water seems promising, especially since scientists are convinced that this moon had a thin, oxygen-covered atmosphere and, the most interesting of all, a magnetic field. Why is the magnetic field so important? Simple. Planets use it to protect themselves from the harmful radiation emitted by the Sun, just as it happens on Earth and is one of the reasons why life has flourished here. However, Ganymede will remain a mystery until humans manage to send a mission that can explore its oceans in depth. Because only then will we find answers to our doubts. Ground Zero – Terrestrial Moon Although we have talked about several moons where life could possibly be forming or even already exist, although we are not able to see it, there is a theory that has fascinated thousands of people, although it does not have enough scientific basis. It is about our moon, the one we see every night. The same one that is full of mysteries and has a hidden face that no human being has been able to observe. It is even believed that in the past our moon had a deep ocean and, in its depths, something that could have generated life or perhaps served to maintain those of others. This theory assures that on the dark side of the moon there is an alien base. Many assure the veracity of this theory because of the great unknowns left by the missions to the moon. In the first place, why has no space base ever been created on the moon? Why has the dark side of the moon not been explored? And most importantly, why no one seems to be interested in visiting this place but in going to farther places? All these unknowns could justify the idea that what lies on the other side could change mankind's life forever. Will this be the case? For now, it remains one of the greatest mysteries of space, and it doesn't look like we're going to find an answer anytime soon. Nor will we have news in the next few years of the emergence of life on any of these moons. But you never know. The cosmos is full of great enigmas. Perhaps, when we least expect it, extraterrestrials will come to us to make us rethink everything we know so far. However, while you wait for that to happen, how about joining me to discover 10 creepy things seen by astronauts in space? Or the 5 terrifying dates that you will never want to come? Would you like to know them? Then check out these videos.